Okay, I'm gonna have a seat on the carpet in front of my instrument buddies. Um, for this breathing exercise, I want you to find a place on the floor that's comfy for you. Today we're gonna be exploring what it means to breathe in our diaphragm. Okay. So, for some anatomy, here are your lungs. And here, inside your body, um, above your stomach, is a thick band of muscle called the diaphragm, and it's kind of like dome-shaped, okay? And its job is when you inhale, it pulls down so that your lungs can expand, and that makes our bellies come up. Now, ideally, this is how we breathe. However, when we get a little bit stressed, or we're like concentrating really hard for a long time, what will happen is we tend to breathe from our chest. <sighs> right? Now, that is also how we breathe when we're in fight or flight. Fight or flight is our evolutionary, like reptilian brain um, response to stress. We either, <laughs> we're getting ready to run, or we're getting ready to fight something. But either way, our body starts pumping us full of adrenaline and cortisol so that um, we're ready to fight, right? It also makes us breathe really shallowly. We won't move our belly if we're stressed. We'll just kind of, like just chest breathe, okay? But we can manually flip the switch back to rest out of fight and flight when we intentionally breathe into our bellies. So I want you to put your hands up in the air and touch your middle fingers together <clears throat> and then place your hands so that your middle fingers meet over your belly button, okay? Now you're gonna breathe in and your goal is to make your fingers move like this. Okay, I want your belly to expand when you inhale and contract when you exhale. Let's try that together. So make a shush kind of sound as you're exhaling. Let's do that again. You might even start to feel a tingly sensation in your body because this is a very relaxing way of breathing. This tells your body, hey, we're not in trouble. We don't need to run and fight. We're chilling. Let's do it again. trouble feeling your diaphragm moving up and down, you're probably breathing here. So put one hand on your sternum and one hand on your belly and just see what moves when you breathe in. Ideally, it's your belly first, and then if you take a really deep breath of air, your sternum will also move up. As you're doing this, I want you to notice the muscles along your neck and your shoulders. Um, they shouldn't be tensing as you're inhaling and exhaling, but they might if you're just kind of used to being in a stressed state. It's just kind of a part of life these days, unfortunately. So let's take a few more breaths and I want you to tune into your neck and your shoulders and try to disengage those muscles from what's happening in your belly. Okay, fingers back here or like this. So by now you should have a pretty good feel of what it's like to breathe 
into your belly. When your diaphragm pulls down, you're pushing your belly out to make room for the air in your lungs, and then it comes back. Now I want you to feel like what it feels like to engage what I call your corset muscles. If you were to wear a corset, <laughs> these are the muscles that would really uh, suck it in. Okay, so start with the bottom up. We're gonna tense those corset muscles and go, huh, huh, or say, hey, hey. Make it really forceful. I want you to feel what it feels like to push that air in a controlled way from your corset muscles all the way out. Let's do it again. Inhale, hey, hey, ha, ha. So experiment with that sound when you make that really forceful expulsion of air. You should feel all of this tightening up. That's what people refer to when they say, sing from your diaphragm. They're talking about engaging all of these muscles and using that thick band of muscle to really support your air as you, um, as you sing, especially in your lower registers. That's really important to do. Okay, why are we doing this on the floor? Ha! It's easier to feel what your belly is doing when you're on the floor. And also, sometimes when you breathe really deep like this, you can get a little lightheaded. So it's good to, good to practice this on the floor. All right, I hope this was helpful. Do it every day.